Nice having you again, my friends. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 2A, a typical algebra and factorization question on the May 2012 CSET math exam, paper 2. Now, here in question 1, they have given us, and let me just change the color a bit, they have given us 2x cubed multiplied by y plus 6x squared multiplied by y squared and they're asking us to factorize this completely as the instruction have stated there now really when given an algebraic expression here we have two terms on either side of the plus sign here okay now really what i'm going to do first a neat little trick is to look at the numbers first and find the highest common factor of both numbers here i have a two there and i have a six on that side okay so the highest common factor of two and six that's a two okay because 2 can go into itself and 2 can go into 6. Now, I'm, I'm simply going to take the letters individually also. So, the next letter here is an x, okay? So, I have x to the x cube or x to the third power and over here I have a x squared, x to the second power. Now, the trick is to take the x with the lowest power, okay? So, my highest common factor of the x's is x squared, okay and then i'm going to do the same thing for the y's now you notice this is how y i have here so obviously this would be y to the one power okay so i'm going to do the same thing i have a y to the one power there and i have a y to the second power so obviously i am taking y and y is the same as y to the one power okay now basically 2x squared times y is my factor is my highest common factor of the term that i have here or the expression rather that i have here in the problem now basically i'm just going to divide through by my factor 2 into 2 into itself goes once so 2 will cancel 2 x square into x cube x square will 2 of the x's will cancel out leaving me with an x so i can put my x there and y into y that will cancel out y into itself goes once that will cancel out so i'm going to put back my plus sign and then i am sim simply saying again 2 into 6 goes three times okay and x square will cancel out x square so that will cancel out and i have a y into a y square so this y will cancel out one of the y's there leaving me with a y okay and that's simply my answer for question one that's an easy two marks now let's move on quickly uh, and look at part two so here we have part let me just change the color now in part two they have given us 9x squared minus 4 now if you notice my friends this is what we call a difference of two squares okay if you notice the first term that we have here is a square term and difference means it is being subtracted by another square term now when you have a situation like that as i've said that's what you call it a difference of two squares so note my friends the nine nine is the same as nine is the same as three times three and three times three is the same as three squared so if you notice, 9 is a square term. That's what we mean. Well, obviously, it's x squared. So the x is, you can see that, obviously, the x is already squared. So let's look at the 4. 4 is the same as 2 times 2, okay? And that is equal to the same as 2 squared. This is the base, and it tells you how many times, the power tells you how many times the base is multiplying itself. If you're not sure about your indices, feel free to check out our playlist on indices and exponents. you learn a lot there, okay? Now, basically, what we have here, what we have here, guys, um, we have a square term being... Uh, a square term over here is being subtracted from another square term. So this is the trick to it. You're going to find the square root of 9, which we, which we established. The square root of 9 is 3. So you're going to open a bracket. So I'm going to have 3. And then it's as if you're taking the square root of x squared, which is x, okay? Um, you're going to put back your subtraction sign. And you're going to take the square root of this term here, which is 2 square root of 4 is 2 and then you're going to close your bracket and you're just simply going to open another bracket or beside it open another bracket you're going to rewrite the same thing inside this bracket 3x 
okay and you have a 2 there but in this bracket the only thing is that you're going to put a plus sign so in this bracket you have a minus sign in this bracket you have a plus sign and that is simply your answer okay if you're not sure about uh, factorizing a difference of two squares you could always check out our playlist on factorizing difference of two squares you can always do a search for that on the channel and you'll find a lot more exam questions like this okay guys now this would be your answer to part two so let's quickly move on to part number three okay so up here we're going to work part three and in part three it states that we have a four x squared plus eight x eight x y minus x y minus 2y squared okay now basically this is factorization by grouping and if you're not sure we have a lot more exercise under factorization we have a whole playlist on that so you could always check that out for more exercises if you'd like okay now when factorizing by grouping if you notice i have two terms here guys the, the first two terms 4x squared plus 8xy i'm going to group these two those two terms and then it's simple i'm going to group these two terms okay it's that it is as simple as that now what i'm going to do i am going to look for what is common to these two terms uh, again as i've said initially i'm going to look at my numbers okay so i have a four there that is common and then i am i have a x here and an x there so i'm going to take out the x because the x is also common now what i'm going to do i'm going to open a bracket and i'm going to say four into four four will cancel four x into x squared x will cancel one of the x's so i'm left with x there okay and then simply again i'm going to say four into eight goes two times but i have to put back my positive sign there okay four into eight goes two times and then x will cancel x leaving me with the y that is there and then simply i'm going to close my bracket okay if you notice i have a negative sign there so i'm going to take that down here so let's just change the color this negative sign whatever sign that is there i'm going to put it back there and, and then i'm going to ask myself what is common to these two i have a x y here and i have a 2y square there so obviously y is common okay then now i've taken out what is common so i'm going to open my bracket so i'm going to say negative into a negative will give me a positive and y will can't because this is negative here okay y is here so y will cancel y so i'm left with a positive x okay and then a negative into a negative again will give me a positive okay so again i have a y here and a y square so y here will cancel one of the y's up there so i'm left with 2y now note for me carefully when factorizing by grouping okay if you notice what's inside this bracket here what i have inside that bracket there is the same thing that i have in this bracket that's what's going to tell you that you're on the right track so if you don't have a situation like that it simply means then you're you're going off track okay so you should use that as as a guide to as you go along now basically since we have all of this here what you're going to do now to get your answers you're going to simply write what's inside one of the brackets since we have the same thing there in both so we're going to rewrite what's in one and what's on the outside out here we're going to just simply combine them in another bracket so over here i have a positive 4x and i'm i have a negative y there so basically that's our answer and my friends it's it's really that easy uh however if you're not sure about factorization or grouping as i've said always feel free to check out our playlist on factorization where there are a lot more exercise exam question types uh, and that will give you some good practice okay bye bye